Hello everyone. As in the first video, we discussed about cost price, selling price, and mark price. This chapter is solely based on these three terms. Here we are already defined the loss or the profit. When it is the loss, we try to put the selling price on the number line on this side because when the selling price is less than the cost price, then only it is the loss. So we are taking loss like this. Here also there are two terms. One is the discount. When I am saying the discount, MP is already we know that this is the meaning. This is basically the marked price or the list price or whatever is written on the article is known as the MP. So mark price after the discount you come to selling price. With the discount there is one more term that is known as premium. At times the uh, demand of the article is more and the number of articles which are there or the supply is less then the article can be sold at the higher price that is known as premium. 100 rupees is written on an article and the person is selling it for rupees 120 or for rupees 130. So when the selling price is more than the mark price, this is the meaning of premium. Now this we already discussed in the second video. Today we are discussing about this section where we are talking about the selling price and we are talking about the mark price. In the class 8 to 10, we get the questions which are based on discount but normally there are not the questions which are given on premium. When I am talking about a discount, now discount is actually just like loss on the cost price. Same is the case with the discount and this discount is always on the mark price. When we talk about discount, suppose I am saying there is a discount of 10%. So discount of 10% can be understood by the logic that it is less by 10% or decreased by 10%. When I am saying decreased by 10%, it means that whatever is for rupees 100, we decrease it by rupees 10 and it becomes 90. Or I am saying that if some article 100 rupees is written on the article and the discount of 10% is given. So it is a discount of 10 which is given to us and the selling price becomes rupees 90. Or when the mark price of the article is 500 and there is a discount of 10%, that means that 10 rupees is discount on every rupees 100. So all rupees 500, we will get a discount of rupees. 50 and the article will be sold for rupees 450. This is the actual meaning of the discount of 10%. Now, when we talk about the formula, then again, as we discussed about the ratio of selling price and cost price, same way we can discuss about the ratio of selling price and the mark price. We can say the selling price upon mark price is equal to the discount of 10% or discount of 20% or discount of 50%, whatever it is, it is always on 100. So I am saying if the mark price is 100, then the discount of whatever percent has to be subtracted from the mark price and this comes out to be the selling price of the article. As in the previous case, when we talk about the loss, then selling price upon cost price is equal to 100 minus loss percent upon 100 while in this case it is selling price upon mark price is equal to 100 minus discount percent upon 100. Now there are three type of questions they will ask. Selling price, mark price and discount percent. This and this is given, this you have to find out. This and this is given, this we have to find out. Or this and this is given, this we have to find out. These are the three different type of questions they may ask. Now, suppose we look at the first question where selling price and mark price both are given and we have to calculate the discount percent. So this is something like the article is marked with rupees 500 and the shopkeeper sells it 
for rupees 400. So, what is the discount percent? This is the first kind of question where the selling price is given, the mark price is given, and we have to calculate the discount percent. So, for this, we can directly put it in this ratio, and it comes out to be 400 upon 400 is the selling price. 500, that is the mark price, is equals to 100 minus discount percent, whatever the discount is there upon 100. When we calculate it out, we can cancel this and this can be cancelled with this. So, 100 minus discount percent comes out to be 80 or we are saying the meaning of 80 is that out of 100, we have got some discount and it comes out to be 80. So, the discount is actually 20% in this case. So, here the correct answer comes out to be discount of 20%. Now, we can take the second example where the mark price is given. So, let's say the mark price is 1000 rupees. The discount, discount percent is given. Suppose the discount percent is 10%. So, we have to calculate the selling price of the article. Again, we can put it in the same ratio where the selling price we have to calculate. The mark price is 1000, the discount percent is 10, that is 90 upon 100. And once we calculate it, we can cancel it out. So, selling price comes out to be rupees 900. So, here the correct answer is rupees 900. Then, we can talk about the third type of question where the selling price and the discount percent both are given and we have to calculate the mark price. That means a discount of 25% is already given on an article and it is being sold for rupees 300. So what is the mark price of the article? This is the third type of question we can ask for. So the selling price that is 300. Upon the mark price, we have to calculate is equal to the discount of 25% means 75 upon 100. Once we cancel it out, so mark price comes out to be 400. So we have understood that this is the basic logic. On the basis of this, we can have three different types of questions, and out of these three questions, always two of the things are given, any two of the things, and the third we have to calculate. If in case we get a question on premium, then it is again a very simple logic because premium or mark price is just equivalent to the profit on the cost price. So here we can say the premium, we can define it as the ratio. So selling price upon mark price, the ratio is 100 plus premium percent because the premium percent means the selling price is more upon 100. So by the concept of this ratio, we can calculate all the different type of questions which are concerned with premium. So this is the fundamental logic of discount and premium.